Hey, what up? It's Power here. And guys, I'm back to tell you today that I'm quitting YouTube to become a German bass producer. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That was a bad joke. I should feel bad for that joke as well. It wasn't a very good one. But we're here with Eden. I'm going to risk it all. I don't think I've ever taken damage on these rooms. So if I do, it'll be a first. I'm just too fast. Too fast, too furious, as I say. But I think I need to get uh, a few victories with Eden. I'm not really sure what I need to get. Um, I think I need to get Isaac. I don't know if I've done Isaac, have I? I wish I could see in retrospect. In retrospect, although I would love to become a music producer. It's probably one of those things I'm going to have to put in like five minutes a day of for like several months. And then bump it up to ten minutes and then hopefully get hooked on it. That's kind of how I've done most things that I've tried to skillfully adapt. You know, I've really started low and kept the habit going and then bumped up the time. And then eventually after a couple months, you're doing like 30 minutes a day and the 30 minutes turns into an hour a day. And eventually, you know, you're just doing it whenever you want for fun because you're getting good at it. That's kind of the way the skill curve goes. You really you just suck for most of the time. But anyway, first boss, famine, famine. You can, you can eat, you can eat what, you can eat and die, eat and then die, that's a great, great poem there, Power, give yourself a pat in the back for that one, so I, uh, had to take a cold shower today, I actually went through a phase a while ago of taking cold showers in the morning, um, I read a really good book called The Ancient Art of Stoic Joy last year, well, I, I kind of read most of it last year, I still am actually finishing it, uh, I've got like, maybe 40 pages left but it was uh discussing the philosophy uh, the philosophy of stoicism and if you don't know what that is it's basically uh a philosophy yeah a philosophy on more logically reasoning with your emotions and dealing with you know uh emotions in general i suppose so one of the big things in there was to practice poverty not poverty but you know to practice small things the put you in sort of negative scenarios to not only build your discipline but also to make you more grateful for what you have so these ancient stoics would you know practice poverty like they would just eat like nothing for several days or they would eat like you know they had no money or what have you not and uh that would make them more grateful because uh there's a thing that humans have called hedonic adaption and it's kind of like running on a treadmill, like any time that you want something in your life, you think it'll make your life happier, you get the thing, and you're kind of like, okay, I've got the thing. Now what do I do? Because I was like that uh, quite a lot, actually. For me, it was university. I was like, once I get my computer science degree, I will be the happiest man alive because, you know, I'll have a degree, I'll basically have a job secured or what have you not. And I got the degree and I was like, okay, I've been studying for the past three years of my life. And now what do I do? So, um, the whole negative visualization, or sorry, sort of, not negative visualization, that's another sort of uh, technique they use. But the whole sort of practicing poverty, so to speak, was just due to uh, them wanting to uh, be, gra uh, be grateful for things they already have. And that's something that Buddhists also do. They, uh, you know, try to show gratitude for things that they already have. And they... Uh, as a result, don't really crave anything else. So think of all the things in your life that you have. You know, for me, it's my YouTube channel. I have a car. I have a load of books and games. I have clothes. I have food. And you just got to be happy about that. But that's how I took cold showers because I was like, I was taking them and I was like, well, I have the benefit of taking a warm shower. And there's people out there who don't have that benefit. So I should be happy, right? So... Anyway, I did that for a while, and then I eventually went back to taking hot showers because I thought, well, you know, I did this. I probably should go back to it just to improve, but I'd rather use my willpower in a more resourceful way, you know. Despite your gratitude for things you have going up, you have to use a substantial amount of willpower. Unless you do that for, like, you know, several months, then it kind of becomes habit taking cold showers. But for me, you know, <laughs> that wasn't something I wanted. Another thing that was Stoics advised was negative visualization, which was basically imagine something that you have uh, disappearing. So for me, that would be like, imagine like, you know, my computer breaking or something, you know, 
But that's a really good book. I think stoicism is definitely something everyone should try and incorporate into their life. It's uh, especially the reasoning uh, that they show, you know, it kind of shows you how to deal with um, negative emotions, you know. Of course, you know, you can grieve and you can see emotions for what they are, but it really challenges you to logically question your emotions when you have them, like... If you're feeling sad, question yourself why you're feeling sad, and then, you know, I guess uh, it has a lot of similarities with something called cognitive behavioral therapy, which is a really, really good th form of therapy. Um, again, that's similar. You just really question your emotions a lot, and you try to logically come to a conclusion, and you'll see that most of your emotions are just autopilot reactions to the world. Especially, like, see, see for me, like, taking up reading stuff like that, really good book I read last year called Feeling Good by Dr. David Burns on Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Um, I don't really think I'm depressed or anything, but I go through periods of just apathy and, you know, not wanting to do anything. And um, for me, learning how to logically... I'm just going to wait until my Tauros kicks in here. Do that. Um, should be any second now. Any second now. Any second. But I like I like figuring out ways to logically deal with my emotions and cognitive behavioral therapy and stoicism was definitely that. In addition to that though, when you start meditating you kinda realize that thoughts are just stories you tell yourselves and emotions really are just you know, fleeting. So I really don't take my mind seriously unless it's a beneficial thought. Most of the times, although you know you get caught up in traps, I'm not saying I'm sort of some some sort of enlightened being. You know, I still struggle with stuff daily, but having tools to deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis for me has been very important, and uh, it has done wonders for me just in terms of discipline. You know, like recently I've just found like I'm setting myself things and I'm actually doing them. And for me, that's just been something huge. I know it may not be a big deal to you guys. Like, oh, you know, you're doing something. You're... But, like, if I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I want to record, you know, eight videos today. Because I do a lot of videos. I, I like doing videos as well. Because if I do one or two videos, my channel my channel was formed on Let's Plays. Or, well, recently it's just been Let's Plays. So, you know, when I... Uh, I can't wake up in the morning, record a 20-minute video and say, oh, that's the day of work done. Because I'll, I'll get depressed, you know, I'll just sit and go on Facebook or something and procrastinate. So I need to be doing something productive. And for me, um, that was just recording a lot of videos. And, you know, that's just the way I like to run my channel. There's a lot of channels out there that post 12 videos a day. You know, a lot of gaming channels out there. I mean, I've always said, like, uh, Seamus from The Creatures was one of those guys who really inspired me to host a lot. That guy would go through days where he would post up to, like, 12, 13 videos a day, which was kind of cool. He'd just sit there and play a game and... You know, that would be him, but, uh, I'm gonna try and blow this up. Boom, flatworm. That gives me a bit of additional width on my tier. But, but there's also a lot more people doing that nowadays, and really, I just like to play games, and, you know, I, I, anything I'm playing, I'm usually recording, because it's kind of cool. It's kind of like just me chilling with a friend or something and talking a little of baloney, baloney, who says that? Um... So that's kind of where I, so my discipline has taken me, you know, and uh, so I'm just concentrating here. Uh, why not? I got a damage up, my tears went down, nice. I'm going to attempt to just camp in the corner here until my Tauros kicks off, don't rotate. Come on, Tauros, kick in, kick in, kick in the base. Here we go. I look at that damage, that's nuts. Crazy damage there. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay. Um, But yeah, I've been just doing things a lot more lately. Which is nice, because when you start to build up those sort of small victories in your life, where you know that you're going to... Uh, do things when you did I just it doesn't matter I'm gonna you don't take up any of my health do you 
Mm, well, you don't cancel out my devil deal is what I was trying to say there. Caffeine pill. I do like caffeine. I do like range up as well. Okay. Sweet. And I might as well just do this now because I'm just going to take damage there. I didn't take that. I can see forever. I can see clearly now. The rain has gone. Uh, but one more thing I want to try and improve on is working on my website. I'm working on a ha social media habit tracking website. I've talked to you guys. I had to rewrite the entire back end because I wasn't really happy with it. And sort of like some days I just don't want to code. But I've kind of been forcing myself to because, you know, my, my golden rule is five minutes a day. I want to like at least code five minutes a day. And that really isn't substantial, you know, for the sake of five minutes. It's just habituating the behavior. Because scientifically, if you don't do something one day, the less like you are to do it the next day. So that's why I try to just do repeatedly the same thing every day. I get up every morning, I go for a run. I mean, today's my 71st day of consecutively running. Pretty cool, you know. I don't go marathon mode, you know. I, some days I'll just run one or two miles and that'll be it. Actually, most days I run like two or three miles. Uh, and that's it. I don't go on these long ultra runs. Although, hopefully I, I'll build up my stamina at a point. But I just don't want to burn myself out. Um, but as for the coding thing, like most days I'll probably do about 20-30 minutes and... You know, that's not really that much, but again, I want to sort of slowly build it up because what's happened in the past is I've usually, you know, burnt myself out. I, I just have not had time to do anything else. So I'm trying to just take my time with things and enjoy the process a bit more and just chill out a little bit more because not only am I getting more stuff done, but, you know, I want to still be coding every day two, three, four years from now and... You know, throwing in several hours a day, okay. You know, some expert coders do that, but for me, I'm trying to balance a full-time self-employed job as well as maintaining my exercise regime and, you know, just other disciplines that I have in my life right now. So, that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm pretty happy for the most part, pretty happy for the most part. Although, I'm trying to incorporate, like, a relaxation day because most people get Saturdays and Sundays off. And when you're uh, self-employed, you kind of don't, so... Uh, I kind of want to try and get my videos done in advance for Sunday. Maybe Saturday, I don't know. And I want to just take Sunday off and just do whatever I want. You know, get up, go for a run. And then just chill out and, you know, watch whatever all day. Or just watch the football. Or just read a book. You know? You dig? Get back here. Okay, uh, drop out there. I'm not sure if I already popped that pill on this floor again. I often get caught up in rambling on these videos, and as a result, I kind of just mess it up. Ayo, the mayo, ayo. Hmm. My brother's heading over to Amsterdam. I've already talked about that in the video, but sort of jealous, man. I, not for the fact he's going to Amsterdam, but just he's getting to travel. I want to do some more traveling soon. I think I'm do a big trip. I have. I'm actually traveling somewhere in February. Um, I've not been to the item room yet. Let's look for that. Uh, I should be okay here though. But I guess the thing that worries me is. Uh, I'm gonna follow the habits, you know. Did I? I don't think I did grab something. Uh, um. Ow! So I want to try that. Also, some new games coming out soon. I'll cover that in the channel update this week, or you know, I'll probably channel update will probably already be up by the time I post this video. It'll probably be posted several days before. So I'm a day or two ahead of schedule, which is nice, always nice not to have to worry about the videos that go up that day. I mean, some videos I record in the day, like the daily runs and stuff, but... What do you do in this situation, man? Huh. I'm really not sure how to feel about that. I'm gonna take it, though. Because it makes some cool tear effects. Uh, no thanks.
Yeah, I really like the tier effects. And plus with, uh... Oh, I need a bomb. Have I got a bomb? Hmm. I started the shop. I mean, we've already sort of spent the majority of this episode anyway. Procrastinating on going to the shop or the boss room, so... We shall do that again. We shall do that again. I'm also finishing up Fallout 4 this week. There's a lot of new games. I guess the Avengers game's coming out. Soon Lego Avengers. I want to have a go at that. Probably want to try and finish that one quickly, though. So I'll probably bust out, like, one-hour episodes or something for the first week. See, the key to running, like, unless you're a huge YouTube channel, you kind of have to rely on uh, drawing new people into your channel constantly to kind of keep YouTube going as a job. So uh, for me, I like hopping on new game releases because, one, I enjoy playing new game releases, and two, it's a great chance to bring new people into the channel. So on the day of new game releases, I probably will post, you know, one to three videos of that game just because you want to try and sort of have as much content as possible so people are searching for it. It comes up in the search results or, you know. This is awesome. These tears everywhere. If we can get the double charger or something here, it'd be so sick. So, um... I like playing a lot of games, but there's I, I've experimented with how many slots I want to have in my channel. And I've done like you know, oh crap, I've done oh crap. Yes, that makes sense. No, I've done like eight. I've done more than eight. I've done four. I've done five. And for me, like for my own mental sanity, like six is probably you know the amount I can do. I can do a lot more than six, but my own mental health and just stress and stuff like that. Six is good, but it also allows me to do a lot of games, which I'm happy with because I like having a few slots open just to play games that don't really get views. because for every like one good series I have, I often have, you know, three or four series that really don't pull in a lot of viewers, but I like completing those because I do like playing them. Um, oops, and also, if I can get this guy out of the way. Um, there's obviously people still watching them, and I sort of feel an obligation. I did really badly last year. I like got a couple series like The Witcher and uh, Bloodborne and stuff I didn't complete. And I kind of feel like this year I have the discipline to sit down and say, Yo, I'm completing this series because one, you know, unless I really hate the game, but, you know, I don't think that'll be an issue. Because I tried to select most of my games that I like. Counterfeit Penny versus Flatworm. Counterfeit Penny probably is the smarter choice. But. I'm going to uh, stick with my guns. What do I got? Oh no. Awful. Awful. Bomb in here. A key beggar. No thanks, mate. No thanks. Okay. Uh, Devil Deal would be fantastic. It would be pretty goddamn awesome. Damn it, I was hoping for something there. Speed up is okay, I guess. That was also good. Save me some health. Health. We'll grab that. I cannot go there. I have too much health. So I get a few people asking me here and there, am I going to start streaming? And uh, the biggest thing that worries me about streaming is, you know, I kind of already spend most of my day recording. But I'm thinking, you know... Because, I, I don't know, like, see, I feel like people aren't inclined as much to watch. Um, I probably should have took the Jumpman book. Yeah, I feel like people aren't inclined as much to watch videos if they're just stream uploads, and I kind of like doing my videos like, you know... Oh man, I did not hit you there. But we got the lead here, which is awesome. Uh, Pandora's box. Pretty good. Yep, it's pretty good when it drops a pentagram. I'm gonna blow you up. Hopefully I can get my money back, but mostly just to get the devil deal. Also, I believe that's the speed up. Gotta go fast. Um, so yeah, I like just recording my videos because as much as I like like streaming and interacting with you guys, like some days I just want to zone out and play games, as, as cheeky as that sounds, and just, you know, having a one-way conversation. 
And when I stream and I record for YouTube, I get like a lot of people asking like, why is he not replying to the chat? Because, you know, I'm trying to record for YouTube. So I would like, ideally, if I can uh, get my discipline working, I've been saying this for a while now, but I honestly feel like I'm at a point where I can start slowly uh, disciplining myself to do things. And I feel like uh, maybe like three one hour slots a week would be good. I don't think I'll ever be one of those streamers that does, you know, four or five hours a day because, you know, YouTube is mainly my source of income. But I definitely think having, you know, maybe like three slots a week at like, let's say, 4 p.m. Eastern or something. I don't know. I think that would kind of... Then again, you know, yeah, I, the, the crappy thing with uh, schedules is you can't, you can't appeal to everyone because... If I do it at 4 p.m. Eastern, you know, the people on the West Coast are kind of going to get screwed, and people in Australia, blah, blah, blah. But, so, I think I'm just going to... I'm going to try and make it on a day where everyone can watch it as well. You know, like Saturdays. I'll probably have to do, like, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday or something. I don't know. Okay, what do we got? Hey. I'm going to get damaged here, aren't I? I can already tell. Oh. Where is the Jera? Wow, well, no Jera. There's usually always a Jera. Hagalaz sounds like a type of ice cream. Doesn't it? Hagalaz chocolate chip. Let's go. Damn, son, that damage. So we do get the devil deal, which is nice. Probably should have wasted some more hearts. Serve the ropes, pretty good. One point of damage up. Decent. You damage, I'll take that, man. I'll take that. I'll take that with a bag of potato chips and eat them. Hmm, I'm gonna go mini boss. Ah, no, 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 no. Man, I'm, I'm slowly like starting to love this. Uh... I'm slowly starting to love this invincibility. It's just like wrecking everyone. So I see the box of friends. Pretty sick. Hmm, I'm not loving this, though. I hate these guys. Speed up in the middle there, but I cannot get it, and I do not have the keys for that. Otherwise, I would, because I can sense like a cricket's head in there somewhere. I'll look for keys here. Ah! I'm surprised I reached. Lovely. No, a key. I need more. I need more keys. Keys, keys, keys. How do you like me? Nobody likes me. That's the Mo 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 song from Simpsons. I don't know why I'm like singing it as the keys song, you know? Die. Lovely. You know, these anti grav tiers are not that bad. Actually, pretty good. Uh, what's this? Okay. Blow him up. Hey, I'll take that. I really don't care. Emperor. Allergies is the best. Actually, you know what? Emperor might. Mm. My damage is really good, actually, for this point in the game, as is my tears, thanks to the amazing uh, thing. Amazing thing, yes, that makes sense. Power world, I meant. Cricket's head has to be in one of these, right? 
Nope. Yep. Yep. <laughs> oh, nothing better than when you call it. Oh, no, I forgot that, uh... I forgot that thing does not work. I'm gonna take boss brand, because why not? My damage is pretty sick, though. Excellent. Uh, I was gonna take the. I was gonna take the. Good ho go to, but. You know, my my speed gets to 2.0. It's probably going to. Give me invincibility, and I'd rather not instantly start with invincibility. I'd rather have a chance to kill them with my tears. My delicious salty tears. What do you got? Ooh, interesting. What do you got? Any good... Uh, I probably should have taken the Sacrificial Tiger. Probably should have taken that. Hmm, very intriguing. I wonder if that stacks. That'd be actually pretty cool. It does stack. Okay, it doesn't really do anything. Bog me an airstrike, though. Ow, that hurt. It's a pretty OP run. Not the most like vanilla OP run, but definitely OP. Oh, what the hell? It doubles my heads. That's pretty sick. That is pretty sick. Though. You gotta admit, like not sick as in like the flu or chicken pox, but sick as in good. Yeah, I might as well just rush the rest of this run because I feel like it's at that point now where. I can just like breathe, walk through the world with ease, you know. Enough of that bullcrap. Oh, I have no keys. That's not good. I'm gonna blow these guys up. I mean, I probably missed a chance there to get something with the allergies card. Oh, let me out, let me out. But I can't be bothered. What do you got for me, game? Charm tears? Why not? Why not? Kinda don't need this allergies card, but I'll take it. I'll take it, you know? Perfect. Very nice. Oh, ah, that sucks. I thought they died on impact. Hmm, interesting. None. Game loves me. I'm the baby, gotta love me. Fucking dinosaur, I hear that show. Mm. Ah, quickly kill that thing. I think we'll go dark chest this time. I don't think I've got a shawl victory, and I'm kind of way too overpowered for my liking. How can you be way too overpowered for your liking, though? It doesn't make sense. Not really worth it. Oh, what do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Okay, not really that great. We got a range up. I don't think that affects me. 
Let's go though. Hey, bye bye. Open up. Damn it. Yo, 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 yo. 70% chance of a devil deal and I don't get it. That's bull crap. Damn it. Well, at least I'm right next to it. You think I should go hush though? It'd be kind of funny. Although, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even know if I could do it. Ah, oh, I was trying to get in there in time. Crap. Yeah, I'm not gonna go hush. I don't wanna risk it. Me and my shadow, me and my shadow. I forgot about my. T I keep on forgetting about my tears, man. Oh, I probably should have popped credit card, but whatever. Whatever, dude. Um. It would be pretty hard to die, though, against the Hush, wouldn't it? With my orbitals. It depends, though. Um, I've got two minutes to get a charge on this. Can I do that? I, I just want to make sure I have a charge, you know? There's one. Quickly, hit him, hit him! Aw, oh, dude, don't tell me I'm gonna die because of this stupid freaking Tauros. Give me one more. Dude, I'm sorry. What we got down here? Ah, oh, crap. Give me the invisibility now. Go, go, go. Right, I have 30 seconds to get down there. Can I, do, I probably should have picked up that key as well. 40 seconds to get down there. Yeah, I think I should be okay. I should be okay. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I had a charge. And I do. I do. I have a charge. Very good. Okay. Shop. Blank card. And credit card. Interesting. Can I wish I had something else, though? See, there was not a... Mm. Ah, whatever. We have a lot of familiars. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm taking that for the synergy. Yeah, that's pretty badass. I'll be honest. It is pretty badass. Gotta be honest. Let's go. Oh, crap. This is weird as hell, man. I'm not even doing any damage here, that's weird as hell. Ah! The amount of orbitals I have is kinda nutty though, isn't it? Yo, what did I get hit by? Oh, hey, what up? Am I getting hit by my own thing? Oh no, it's my... I didn't even know what's happening, dude. I'm just gonna keep running and hope I don't hit myself. See, it looks like I'm not even doing any damage. That's the weird part. I'm just hoping all these orbitals that I have... Oh, see, what the hell is hitting me? I, I don't know what's going on. Am I okay with that? It's Bob, is it? I'm just gonna stand here and see what I can do. Can I just run in circles and hope I don't get hit? Am I actually getting hit by his tears, though? That's... I'm not concerned about it. I don't even know. Yeah, I'm getting hit by his tears. I kind of thought I was invincible in that regard, but apparently not. Oh, I'm getting hit by my own freaking tears, that's why. I just need to keep on continuously hit forward then. I'm just going to stand here so I get hit. If I do, that's a miracle. Yeah, I get hit there. Yeah, that's by my own tears. I kind of thought the fact that I had all those orbitals, though, was kind of, you know... Oh, we have those continuum tears. Don't move. 
I don't like brimstone, that's awesome. Oh, I can get hit. Oh, crap. That's not good. I'm afraid of Bob killing me here as well, you know? Oh, shit. Oh, what am I dying by? I don't know. I kind of took on too much too fast, though. I was going to open for the leecher to see of me, but obviously that's a uh, distant memory at this point. Hmm. This is a weird ass run, though. I'll tell you that much, man. Yo, Leecher, save me, bro. Leecher, save me, bro. I think Bob is ultimately going to be my demise here. Ah, I get killed by myself. I saw that and I was like, oh, I probably should have pressed the button there. That was a crazy run, though. Yeah, as I thought, taking the hush really was not the best of options, but sure. You win some, you lose some. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Anyway, peace, guys. Have a good day. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.